from Anderson Johnson's church. Okay, we're at Reverend Anderson Johnson's church. This is this is Reverend Anderson Johnson. Mm -hmm. He's a, a friend of ours. It's always really nice to the missionaries. And this is his his church. And I'll let you talk, him tell you a little bit about it. Well, I started here in this house uh, at my mother and father. And all my family's dead, but just me. So uh, I couldn't. Get, I was in the wheelchair, paralyzed all over. When I come out the hospital, I come out in the wheelchair. So I could do them a slide there in the steps. So I took it. I had a petition taken out and took out all the rooms and just made the mission in my house where I could, you know, go to service because I couldn't get out to go to service. So after I started, a few people began to come and help join in with me. And so today I have ran 10 members and uh, we have service every Sunday at 12. And then we're just on Sundays. I don't have nothing to do because most of my people work. And uh, didn't have nothing to do. I started to paint just to uh, keep from being because I couldn't, I was paralyzed in the wheelchair as a witness. And when I got in the wheelchair, all I could do is walk on the crutches. And I would slide down the steps. And having nothing to do, I just started to drip pain, you know. So the Lord told me to take the pain and put them out on the porch. So who, who is going to light a candle and put it on the bush? So I put it out on the porch. So a young man came along and saw him. He is a college graduate. And uh, he knocked on the door and he said, I want to, who drove these pictures? I said, I drove them. What you thought is, I said, I call myself number just somebody trying to keep myself busy. So he come in and said it was wonderful. And uh, <clears throat> he went away, and after a while, he ran into a newsman from Norfolk and brought him by to make pictures of him. So the newspaper made, the, my pictures made headlines on the newspaper in Norfolk. So I kept on drawing. And that been, this been about uh, seven, five years ago when I come into hospital, going on six now. And uh, then after Norfolk people put it out, People from Virginia Beach and Portsmouth, even far away Charlotte, North Carolina. The uh, Newport newspaper picked it up, then they began to advertise it. That gave me a, a, a start, you know, and people started coming in from far away. And uh, the Pat Robinson in, in uh, Virginia Beach, he uh, sent some of his people here. He didn't come himself, but he sent some of his people here to make a move of it, like y'all doing. And so then he put me 15 minutes on cable te television. Wow. And that was yeah. all over the United States and OC. So then I had people coming in from Chicago, Los Angeles, Houston, Texas, and Nashville, Tennessee, Charlotte, North Carolina, Atlantic City, Philadelphia, and uh, New York City, and just uh, Chicago, just as far away as, as, as the thing as his thing was seen, somebody had come by and contacted me. So every time they come, they, those that didn't uh, give me an offering for some of them come and give me off because when you look and see where I had been from, you can see the, the this thing here that I got from the station in Postman. He said that I was the sickest man that ever was seen and lived. <laughs> so yeah. they give me a plaque that I win the prize that being the sickest man. So they, I win the Bible and some other things. So when people would come and see me in the wheelchair and they got up and was walking again, able to get up, this doctor said I'd never use this leg no more, couldn't use it. The arm here, I couldn't move it, couldn't move no further than somebody moved me. And when I got up and began to <laughs> jump and throw my legs around again, a lot of people got healed. That's great. Yeah, and he was healed automatically because it caught faith. And that's what got me started. Ever since that time, I've been going and it's getting better and better. So my idea is it to ask the Lord to give me enough money to put up a small hotel where I can have people coming in from all over the world. And then I have my art gallery here among them. So that's my vision. That's what I'm not to now. But that's my vision. That's great. Now, so, are these all these paintings for sale then in here? Yeah, all of them for sale. Yeah. And what's the average cost of your paintings here? Okay. If they run from all these is $100. Everything like that is $100. And everything in here is $100? Not everything. Some of them more than that. <coughs> these under here, I just got them covered up. See, that's a seven hundred dollars piece. Oh, underneath that. All in the frame. Now, the what kind of uh, artwork is this classified as? This oil paint. Most of all, I do now is oil paint. Oil paint. Yeah, like myself. 
And this is folk art? This is a folk, folk art? art? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but we sell, you know, everybody. How much would you sell something like that for? What, this, uh, with the egg cartons and the different things? Uh, that was a specialist. Uh, that's a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. I just made that. Idea. I said, when I, when I cut it the hospital, I didn't have no money or nothing. So people give me things that they throw away and I make something out of it. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I make something out of egg cartons. Well, would you mind playing this? I remember you played Country Garden in the Farm. That's something yeah. you, you wrote, right? All right. Uh, time here. And what's that instrument you're, you use? This is the high warning guitar. I sure do appreciate you taking time. But I've traveled all over the United States. I was in Los Angeles for two years. I passed by y'all's church, uh, Salt Lake City. You've been to Salt Lake? Yeah. I see, see y'all have a beautiful temple.
sure appreciate that. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. You have a special okay. talent there. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Glad to see y'all in town. <laughs> Station 8 there, where you in Right now we're up in Jordan. Yeah. Well, we're, we're in uh, Newport News right now. I don't know. I know you're listening. The gossip people moving all over. Yeah. 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 Yeah.